Hi guys, this is Kelly. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to be using just one little leaf image from Trinity Stamps Wallflower Set. I'm just going to be using the one stamp and the one die. Now, I've made a lot of Christmas cards over the holidays and I'm having a little bit of a creative block. I don't know about you, but I'm like, ugh, I can't come up with anything. So when that happens, I default to a rainbow theme and I just wanted to use um, Trinity Stamps just one little image to make a I was thinking about a wreath but I did that recently so I did something a little bit different. I'm also pairing it with the Trinity Stamps A2 quilted cover die and the uh, stencil trio set that coordinates it with it. It's polka dots, hearts, and stars. I'll just be, be using the polka dots in this stencil and I'm also using scrapbook.com um, finger daubers to with um, Hero Hues Reactive Inks. Now these are inks are new to me. I had bought a few of them to try them out and absolutely fell in love. I went ahead and ordered all the colors because I have full set syndrome and I labeled them, I swatched them, but this is, uh, and I also just made one uh, sheet, an A2 uh, panel, just, just in blending to see how they'd work together and I fell in love. So this is technically my first project using them. So that's why my finger daubers, most of them are clean um, because these are, are new inks to me. But I did try them out and I highly recommend them. They, they are really, really smooth. I'm using Nina cardstock here, um, 80 pound and they blend really, really, I know everybody says it, but they blend like butter. And they also react with ink, so um, with water. I'm not doing that in this image, in this project rather, but I um, just wanted to let you know that. Now here, I just wanted to show you, I picked this up at Walmart. It's a heat trivet, or trivier, trivet, a trivet. And I put a, it had a little hole in it. I put a little key ring and I just hang it on my cart, on my supply cart, and I put it on my glass mat to prevent it sliding all over the place. It just kind of grips on and it keeps my ink pad when I'm blending from, again, just slipping all over the place. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Now these are the colors. After they dry, they also smooth out. That's what happens with reactive inks. It takes a few minutes, but they do smooth out a and blend a little bit better. So after doing all the colors, I went ahead and took Trinity Stamps, the uh, polka dot, uh, stencil trio it comes with three I'm just using the one and I'm lining it up with the A2 quilted uh, panel that I die cut off screen and I'm using the Hero Hues reactive ink they also comes with one called sea salt and it's great for like white projects like like a like the unicorn pigment ink would be same concept so I definitely recommend the sea salt if uh, if you're in the market so after I lined that up and I added my white and on my stencil, I'm just going to fly through this real quick because it's real simple. I just went ahead and stamped with Memento Black Tuxedo ink on uh, with that leaf image on every single little color blob, <laughs> color section that I, I made with the inks. I'm going to fly through real quick. I just lined it up and then just slid my panel up each you know, what, well, quarter inch or half inch, whatever it was, to get my leaf in the appropriate uh, spot. Now, this, I've tried a lot of low-tack tape. Folks, I'm here to tell you, this one by Scotch is by far my favorite. One, because it's the perfect amount of tack. Two, it comes on a dispenser. And three, it's easily, easy to find. I got it at Michael's. Now, this one is from scrapbook.com. It's called the Mint Tape. It also is good, but it's got a little bit less tack. Um, sometimes I have a problem with it sticking. So, because it's, it's pretty good, but it's really low tack. I mean, super low. But I like the Scotch one because it's got a little bit more tack and it's never ripped my paper, not once. All right, moving on. So I'm using the um, envelope builder set here, but not for the envelope, but just for the sent for the hello in the hello friend. And I'm using that. And I'm also using a crafter's heart to for my sub sentiment. Now the hello, I went ahead and used 
alcohol ink black cardstock because I'm literally obsessed with the stuff. I want to put it in my bed and have it sleep next to me. Obsessed. Obsessed. It's like a, it has a like a velvety kind of texture and it's matte and it's super black and I love it. Anyway, so I cut the hello out and I added it onto the shadow. Now here I'm going to go ahead and stamp my secondary sentiment, the You Make Life Colorful. And I'm stamping that in Versamark and I'm going to use WOW Clear Embossing Powder to heat emboss it. Just so it gives a little shine. Now I do this like 90% of the time. I take a black marker. Uh, this one happens to be Faber Castell. It's an India ink. And I just go along the edge slowly from the back. Not from the front because if you slip you're going to make a mark on your, on your um, sentiment. So I go from the back very slowly and just slide it across and it gives a, a little defining edge and it makes it stand out against the background just a little bit more than it would if I didn't do that. Sometimes I add make the line a little thicker depending on my mood depending on the look I'm going for but I just wanted to show you that it's a nice little uh, thing to do to make your sentiment stand out a little bit. I had to pause my video because I had to help my daughter with something so forgive the lighting the day was changing and whatnot so that'll I'll fix that in a few. Now I laid out my leaves and I had a few extra as you can see in the top right there and I took a piece of Glad Press and Seal once I finally got the layout. I had to lay these guys out perfectly so they wouldn't wiggle and jiggle and I went ahead and grabbed them with the Press and Seal. They were all in position. I added a little bit of glue to the ones that were stacked on top of each other and I cut this out, but I added foam to all the back. That took me a little bit of while, a little fussy, little fussy cut in there, but I got my little thin strips on the back of my leaves of foam tape. Before I adhered that to my front panel, I went ahead and worked on the inside of my card. Do you guys decorate or stamp the inside of your cards at all? Am I alone? 90% of my cards, I do that. Um, if I most of the time I remember so once in a while a card will get past me and I forget but for the most part I always decorate the insides now with this I just trimmed off a couple little uh, stems that were sticking out I added foam tape to the back of my hello and my um, sub sentiment there so it was all the same height once I adhered that I took my little um, the leaves on the top right corner there I didn't want them to go to waste so I added them to the inside. I'll show you that here in a moment. So I'm going to take those. I was trying to figure out where I was going to put them. Should I go up and down? Then I decided to just kind of curve them along the bottom left corner because I don't typically write in that area. I write in the top left and then the bottom right. So I went ahead and did the same process with the press and seal and added glue. No foam tape for the inside, of course. Just glued that down and then I trimmed off uh, one of the little... Um, stems and I re-glued that down because one came up I didn't have enough glue on there I didn't wait long enough for it to stick and that's the inside of my card and then I thought I was done and then I said you know I'm going to add some Trinity Stamps Unicorn Tears these are like super sparkly um, gems and I these are another product I'm pretty much obsessed with I put these on all the things to just make it a little more sparkly I thought I was done with my card after I stopped filming, I realized I wanted to add a little shimmer to my leaves, which I used a Spectrum Noir sparkle pen, and you'll see that here in a quick little video clip I'll add at the end of the video. And that kind of made it, because it was kind of flat before that, but I added a little bit of sparkle, you'll see here in a moment, there you go, and it just makes the card so much nicer. So that's it, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you get a chance, please like and subscribe and check out Trinity Stamps Instagram blog, Instagram TV, and Facebook page for more inspiration from the design team. Have a safe, happy, wonderful new year, and let's pray all together, guys, that 2021 is a better year for us all. God bless. Thank you again for stopping by. Have an awesome new year. Bye-bye. Thank you.